What's going on all you Bluebeam users out there? Today, I will be going over how I created this dashboard. I think this dashboard is a little more dynamic than the one I created previously. I will be going over how I created all these different buttons. If I click on these drawing buttons, it'll turn on and off different layers. Then if I click back on the home button, it'll take me back to the main dashboard layer. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing I did is I went to a Microsoft PowerPoint. I went to File New. When you go to File New, it gives you different templates that you can pick from. I like this universal presentation template. I clicked on that, then it opened up. Then I scrolled down to the background that I like. I went here, clicked on it, right click, went to Change Picture from File. It changed the picture in the background. So now I like how it looks. I went to File, I printed it as a PDF, click Save, and then now I end up with this slide. Then I went to the text box, and then I created all these different titles. After that, I went to the forms tab. Then I went and created a button. I called it drawings. Then I went down here to the label section. I changed the name to drawings. Then I went and changed the font, font size. I changed the color. And then that's how I ended up here. Now I'm gonna go back to this one and I'm only gonna do the process for uh, one because it's pretty much the same repetitive process to create all the buttons with all the different layers turning on and off. I'm gonna create the drawings and then I'm gonna create the home button. Now for the drawings, I also have to create the two buttons that are gonna come on as soon as I click on this drawings button, which is gonna be civil and then this is going to be the building. Now I'm going to rename the one down here to say home. And then I'm going to go down here and change the label. Call it home. Same for civil. Change the label. And then same for building. Change the label. Now after I create my buttons, I'm going to go to the layers tab. And I'm going to create layers for all these different buttons I created. So the main layer that I'm going to create is the dashboard layer. The next layer is going to be home layer. And then the next layer is going to be the civil buildings layer. So the main dashboard layer is going to be the drawings and everything that's going to come on on the main dashboard page. So in this example, that's going to be this one over here where it has all the main buttons that I'm going to need. The sub layers are going to be these. As soon as I click on that button, these are going to come up. So this is what I'm going to show. So I'm going to go back to the PDF that I'm working on. I'm going to go to the drawings and this is going to go on the main dashboard layer. I'm going to put these two the civil and building in the civil buildings layer and then I'm going to put the home button in the home layer. The next step is I'm going to go to the home button. I'm going to go down here to the action section. I'm going to click on add action. I'm going to click on form in the JavaScript section. I'm going to click on edit. Now I already have all these codes created and for the home button I'm going to copy this JavaScript and then I'm going to paste it in this section here. Paste, click OK. Click OK, and then if I click Home, then the main dashboard will come up. I'm going to click on the Drawings tab. I'm going to go to Add Action down here on the right. I'm going to go to Form. I'm going to go to Edit again, and then I'm going to copy and paste the Drawings code that I already created. <clears throat> paste, click OK, click OK, and then if I click on the Drawings button, then the Civil and the Building buttons will come up. And then I always add the home button down here so I can go back to the main dashboard. So this is pretty much it. This is how you create the different buttons, add in the different code. I can share some of these codes with you guys. I'll make a pretty simple one, but it's all the same repetitive process. And then the other thing that I suggest is to go to your dashboard layer, your main layer, right click layer properties, and then default state on, click OK. And then for your other two layers, go to layer properties and then default state off. So then you go to save your dashboard and then every time you open it up, all the layers are turned off, but your main dashboard layer, which is where everything lives. So after you create all your different buttons, layers, and code, then you go back to your forms button. You go back to your drawings. Now you're ready to start hyperlinking stuff together. You go back to your actions tab. You say add action. And then it's pretty much the same process that I have on my previous video. And then I'll leave the link in the description uh, so you can follow exactly what I did to start hyperlinking your dashboard to different folders, different PDFs, or different websites. So when you click on your different buttons, it'll take you automatically to where you're trying to go. So for now, this is all I have for you guys. I will share all the different code that I created for those that uh, send me a message or reach out to me. And with that, I will see you guys on the next video.